But yeah, in terms of creating an, an authenticity, is that something that you went into the production saying, okay, well, this is, you know, what, what uh, do we want to do here, perhaps, that is truthful to the book? And these well, characters? basically, I, I don't think you can create authenticity. Um, I, I think um, authenticity has to do with, with an intention and... and um, and, 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 and an attitude, and, and uh, it's all about generosity. It's about giving, it's about sharing. It's not, um, that's what it is. You can't, you can't create authenticity. Cre authenticity is not a concept. Something is true or it's not true. It's, that's as simple as that. When you tell someone, I love you, you mean it or you don't mean it, and there's no middle ground. You can't, you can't, uh, you can't pretend to, of course you can pretend to mean it but you know you you can try to mean something you mean it or you don't you know what I mean and that's the same goes for authenticity you know it's 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 real or it's fake and and, and that's that's the way I, it, and I think if you if you're going on this kind of journey then then I imagine a man that works the land a man that is that belongs to the land in mm -hmm. a way um, it must help to get out on those locations and get your hands dirty and Completely. do these things. Was Completely. that was that a good learning process for you? No, well, it's 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 um, it's it's allowing yourself to be affected by by what you're surrounded by by the nature. It's it's earth, wind, and fire. You know, it's all of these elements, and it's it's directing your awareness to these elements and and absorbing it. And and let it affect you, and and let it, you know, play with with whatever it is you're dealing with at the moment, emotions, th thoughts, um, feelings, whatever it is, just 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 have an open look and 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 absorb. It's not it's not an intellectual process. It's it's very um, sensory. How do you say that? Yeah, is that? Um, so that's what it is, and 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 so. So approach it that way, and, and, and let your senses be affected by, 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 by the silence, by the sound, by the view, by colors, by um, you know all of these magical things that happen in nature and that are part of of something that you're you know that you're given to witness uh, for free. On top of that, it's like a blessing; it's a gift. Mm -hmm. On top of that, Dorset is is. And I'm not saying it, you know, to promote whatever, but it's really one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. I'm not kidding. It's, I was blown away, seriously. And you can see it in the film. It's not that I'm, you know, I'm like just saying something just to say something. No, no, you can see it in the film. It's like <gasps> breathtaking, you know. Um, and, and that really had an impact on me, yeah, absolutely. I think, I mean, that's the wonderful thing is that, I, you know, when I visited set, you know, there were some very rainy days. There were some very dull yeah, yeah, days. Absolutely, but, but we had <laughs> everything. Yeah, no, we had everything. Uh, we had rain. We had storm. We had, but that's good. You know, you get, you get in touch with these elements, and and they're part of that. They're part of that reality, and so it's it's good to, to, let it let it you know happen to you. I love it. I love it really. And the testament to, to Thomas that he's got he's got that on film. He's managed to get that performance no. and that that vibrancy from from you on on film. I, what, you know, I, this is a surprising choice in a way for Thomas. You know, yeah. um, what was he like as a man, and what, what what do you think of his taste? I suppose. Well, I, I, you know, it's 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 tough to um, to try to define someone's taste um, based on on, on, on on one project you did with someone. But I think he's, you know, he's he's a very, he's a very lively person, um, and 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 he, you know, he fuels the entire crew with such an enthusiasm, and 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 people feed off on that, and it, it it's like an engine, and he's enormously sharp, has an enorm enormously nuanced reading of scenes, he's at the same time very playful. And very generous, so he knows how to create circumstances wherein actors can can feel free. You know, he's not imposing anything. He's there with you. He's not next to you. He's with you. So that's that's a very important thing, and um, and that all has to do with with um, a very refined intelligence that he has. Um, I mean, human intelligence, but at the same time, also in 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 how to make a film and and how to. Um, how to 
get to a point where where creativity can flow and where you can like make sure that all the elements that you know that that um, that movie making is part of that you can create circumstances that there's like an osmosis or a symbiosis that can happen between all of these elements uh, between actors and DP and crew and da, da, da. and and it, it's it's creating the perfect circumstances for for synchronicity and at the same time creating the circumstance for synchronicity in order to have beautiful accidents happen in front of the camera and that's why I think he's such a great director um, because he, he wants to be surprised all the time and and um, and that's what what I think creativity is about it's it's about abandoning a certain idea that you had and like keep looking keep looking and and ch ch go further go further and if it's wrong okay you find maybe you find a key somewhere and that will lead you to something else and all of a sudden you discover you like rediscover the scene and all of a sudden you discover like a new meaning to the scene and 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 up and it fires your soul and, and it gives you a different perspective on on the scenes to come and poof, and it stays alive all the time and and that's what i that's what i love about that that kind of filmmaking especially with people that have that kind of mindset and that kind of um that kind of um approach to filmmaking um because it's pretty rare and um yeah it, it was not it was nice actually being on set and seeing him right next to the camera with you guys who, who? So when when oh, I was yeah, saying, yeah, okay, you know, yeah, yeah so, you know, seeing Thomas right there, you know, it was almost those scenes with you and Kerry that he was the third element yeah. of of that. Um, I, w I wanted to ask about Kerry because this is it's a huge role in yeah. in terms of what's required of an actor for for Kerry. Mm. I was I I I was surprised that she managed it yeah. in a way. Yeah. The, the, this big role is is. Was that something quite pleasurable? You know, not being in every scene with her, of course. When you come to actually watch the film, to see to see yeah, what yeah, she totally, did. totally, totally, absolutely. Um, when I saw the film, I I, I I saw the amazing work that she did, and and all the you know all the all the all the choices that she made, and 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 and, and the refinement of it, and and the and the richness of it, and the variation of it, and. Yeah, I, I really think she did an amazing job. Mm -hmm. Really, it's a, a job is an ugly word. I think she she really you know um, created something that vibrates off the screen and will touch people um, that are witnessing it. I mean, I mean the audience. Yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. hundred percent. Well, well, just finally, I, I I wanted to to ask that because if I, you know I'm an Englishman and and Hardy kind of means something in in my bones yeah. you, know, in a, you know that you have a kind you're born with a resonance of it somehow but I wanted to ask you you know is this is this a, a sort of picture I suppose that maybe the rest of the world likes to think of 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 England in a time is there something quintessentially English about it does it translate to you think a, mm. a sort of broader Broader international. I think. I think. I think. All the layers um, of of of, um, of interactions that all these characters have going on with each other um, are, you know, they 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 transcend space and time because a very specific historical context might might be different. Da, da, da. But those very all of these emotional dynamics. That are going on between all these characters um, are things that we can still relate to uh, today or identify ourselves with. Um, so, is there is, is there a um, um, is there an identity thing going on on that level? I I don't know. Maybe I, I don't want to. You know, I know Thomas Hardy is 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 cultural heritage. You know, it's it's, um, and so I don't want to I don't want um, to deny that, but. The thing with brilliant writing is, is that it's universal, and a context might be very specific, a region might be very specific, but we're talking about people and how people deal with each other and how people relate to life in a very specific context. That's what brilliant writers do. Everyone can relate to it, whether you're from, you know, wherever you are. And um, so, 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 yeah. To me, I, I. I I didn't. I didn't feel that identity as as something that was, um, you know, determining 
choices um, for the way I approach that character at all. No. Well, we've got to end it there. I, I love the film. I'll say it. I, now we stop rolling. So. It, it was just amazing.